Okay, let's go to prison. Hey everyone, Jeremy here today. I'm about to watch Andor episode... S I almost said seven, it's episode eight. <laughs> Before I get into that, please remember to hit that like and subscribe. Helps the channel out immensely and I appreciate it a whole, whole bunch because it does help out small channels like mine. And it lets us grow. All right. Last episode, which was episode seven, Andor went to jail. Cassian went to jail for something he didn't do. Now, granted, and I pointed this out during the episode, I think, <laughs> that he technically had committed crimes before, especially to the Empire. But it was incredibly frustrating to see what could have been an innocent man, and presumably this has happened to several innocent men, go to jail for nothing other than just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. They, literally, he just walked up from the boardwalk at the same time this was going on, and they grabbed him and said, oh, you're part of it. It, it was so frustrating. It was ridiculous. Uh, and, and I loved it. <laughs> I loved it because it showed how terrible the Empire is, how horrible the machine is that Palpatine has put into place. And how, well, weirdly well-oiled it is at suppressing the people. He has done such a good job of building this empire for himself that it just automatically churns out everyone he doesn't deem desirable. Incredible. Oh, and don't get me started on the Mon Mothma storyline because that was awesome too. There are still so many cards kind of left on the table right now. So many things that could still happen. Even with Cassian in jail, I have no idea what could happen next. And that is one of the funnest things about this series. All right, because we are seeing different sides of everything. Of every part of the Empire. Of every part of living under the Empire. And it's fascinating to me. All right. Let's get into this. Oh, oh, we're... Okay, that's not frustrating at all. Oh my god. And I like the juxtaposition of Cassians in one prison, this guy's in another. Oh, his moment to shine. Here's what's happened, Cyril. Hmm. You have engaged the curiosity of the ISB. One would think you'd want to leave Ferex as far behind as possible. One would be wrong. I have a busy day. <laughs> Tell me. Oh, no. We should be upstairs by now. Give him Blevins' report. Let him read it. She's going to start finding out what wasn't in the report. It's going to start clearing him. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, those don't look terrifying. What in the world? You've all been assessed as labor worthy. Now, following this introduction, you'll be transferred to your level assignment and work group. I'm sure some, if not all of you, are wondering how we risk standing before you with our weapons. Yeah. It's a question. The f what was that? I was a good deputy inspector. Oh boy. That was very good. I solved a double murder and found the killer in two days. It's also clear that whatever this is is more important than the death of two corporate security guards. It could be a valuable asset going forward. Oh man. Forget this happened. What's crazy is he's a perfect Imperial. And they don't even want him. You know that. He'll be here any second. New man ready on 5-2-D requesting unit override. Copy that. Uh, coming up. That's not good enough. This was on the schedule. 
can't just not turn up. Step forward and stop. Now, move. Stop. Ice front, I said. Sorry. I had to wait. They're short-handed down there. Are we good? <laughs> yes, you can go. He's assessing Everybody this whole room. Looks good. Prep for door. Oh my god, this place is so chilling and kind of awesome in a sci-fi way. I mean, it's awful, but it, it just in a sci-fi way, it's freaking cool. Step off, move. This is unit 52D. Level 5, room 2. The D is for day shift. Is that? Seven levels of factory, seven rooms per level. My name yep. is Kino Loy. I'm the 52D unit manager. Eddie Zergen. The 49 men in this room answer to me. Sick, injured, you talk to me. Losing hope, your mind, keep it yourself. Don't ever slow up. Wow. Take five. <laughs> Losing hope. Losing your mind. Keep it to your side. Work! Hands right, get to it, fly. Stand back. Watch what I do, exactly what I do. You be where I am. This oh my god, this is a test. Nine the swing, I'll be feeding the table. Man, they are a well oiled machine for guys that are behind. They're moving so fast, I don't even know if he can learn. Actually, Cassian might, but I don't know that I could. This reminds me so much of Camino. He's communicating with somebody on the other side. What? Everything Cassian is looking at, I, I know he's looking at it like an opportunity. Overreactive, perhaps. Are they not? Do you feel under threat? Personally, here, yes. I'm at great risk of ingesting too much of this nourishing Chandrillan hospitality. You know, maybe I'm not so disappointed the Senate was dissolved. Oh. You can get as much as you want. The like us healthy and fueled. Don't worry, you learn to eat it. Yummy it taste tube it. food. Top table wins flavor. Last place gets fried. Get in your freaking cell, Cassian. Oh my god. I mean, this is their version of a shower. It's the shop owner on Ferrix. She's trying to find Cassie Nandor. His mother is ill. I just need you to wake up. There's a lot to do. Shut it down. Said about their sleep, then the, the, the guy is actually dead. Tell me, where are they taking my father? Tell me, where is he? Where is my father? They intercepted the transmission. Oh, Garrison at Old Donny. Is that you? No, I was it. just about to ask you Knew the it. same thing. You'd never tell me if it was. Knew he had to show up. sitting on some dash. Let's agree. It was a masterpiece. Wow, well, now I'm sure. <laughs> I'm tired of playing behind the scenes, Luther. I work alone. That's what I'm trying to change. I'm not going to put my people mm. at risk for someone else. We need to pull together, Saul. Oppression breeds rebellion. Krieger needs their support. Yep. Not for hire. Think of it. Sectorists, human cultists, galaxy partitionists, they're lost. All of them lost. Lost. What are you, Luther? I've never really known. Huh. What are you? 
No sale today, Luther. Good luck with Anton Krieger. Uh. Yeah, Saw is on his downward slope of sanity. Hello, Bix. Okay, oppression much? My goodness, that episode. Oh, I've... I, I don't know how to even feel after that. I feel like every personal freedom I have ever known feels like it was just challenged in a galaxy far, far away. The absolute theft of hope that this episode brought. I mean, it just showed everything that is wrong with the universe and how dour that, I shouldn't say universe, galaxy, how dour that galaxy truly is because here you've got Cassian who, granted, isn't innocent, but he's in the role of an innocent man and you see all of his freedom stripped away and him effectively turned into a slave. I, the, the way they make that sound, the way the other prisoners made it sound, you don't actually leave there. The, that number may tick away, but in the end, they're going to find a reason to keep you there as long as you're productive. And I buy it. I really buy it because the Empire has found a way to come up with cheap and effective labor. But then you've got uh, Karn. Karn, who is also in his own little prison because of a mistake he made. And here he is dutiful. Someone who is willing to fully commit to the Empire. But because of that mistake, much like how Cassian made the mistake of being in the wrong place at the wrong time, this guy made the mistake of not having a good day, essentially, that the guys he was chasing in the name of the Empire, he actually did everything he should have done. He actually did his job. Well, he didn't get results. So the Empire wants nothing to do with you. So his life is being oppressed. And then you can go down the line. Bix, uh, Marza, everyone, everyone is feeling it now. Everyone is feeling the heal harder than they ever have. And it's changing things. And it's, it's happening all over the galaxy. And Luthen is getting what he wanted. Luthen knew. Luthen knew. As soon as he did something big, as soon as they did something that got the Empire's attention, that truly got their attention, that they would start coming down on the systems and things would start changing. The, the people, not just the rebels, they, they already existed. There, there were cells out there. We've already talked about this in the show. The network, the network existed. The network is up, according to the last episode. And that was the key, that they were... They are now becoming the Rebel Alliance rather than just Rebels. Now the people are involved. Now the people themselves are starting to feel it. It's no longer a matter of just feeling like, ah, that Empire, what are you going to do? Now the people are feeling incensed. And the more the Empire <laughs> starts or keeps putting their heel down on everyone's necks, the more they're going to struggle free. One thing I loved, though, was Cassian assessing everything. Granted, he was a little bit panicked. I feel like he was, I, I mean, why wouldn't you be in that situation? But he was feeling overwhelmed. He was feeling, I, I, I've, I've had that look. I know that look. He was overwhelmed and scared and just unsure of his surroundings. But he was also taking it all in. He was also looking at how many guards are in this room, what does this guy do, what does this guy do, what is this person over here doing? I don't think he was consciously trying to formulate a plan out, but I think he was consciously trying to ch keep track of everything he was seeing. It, it wasn't a, ooh, I can take out this guy and then this will happen and this. No, it was, okay, this guy's doing this, this guy's doing this, this guy does this, this guy, wait, what does that guy do? Okay, that guy does this. Wait, that guy was upset because it disrupts, some, or disrupts something? Ooh, I need to keep a mental check of that. 
he was trying to internalize all of that much like he did when he was on the line. It, it mirrored exactly what he was doing with the machine when he was standing there watching his new team put together whatever that is. I, I, I'm i going with it's a sprocket. I have no idea what it was. The, the widget they were working on or sprocket. Whatever that was they were putting together. He was watching it. He was a bit overwhelmed. It, it was all over. He, he was kind of overwhelmed by what he was seeing. But he was still tracking it all. But he was still taking it in. He was, he was watching what this guy was doing. He was watching what this guy's doing. He was watching what this guy's doing. Then he would check out what's going on over there. Okay, they're doing the same thing. And then he'd check back in. We all kind of do it, but I have a feeling with Cassian. With Cassian, I think he internalizes it more. I think he catches more. He's, he, he's got that kind of mind where he, well, they said it in when they were getting ready for the heist, because he noticed every, who had left, who was left-handed and who was right-handed. It was just something he, it's something he clocks. And I think that applies here. He's clocking all these things. And that's going to be the key. Just like, just like he noticed the guys talking from, from the walkways. They're, they're signing to each other a form. It's a form of communication. I don't know what they were talking about. My guess is news. My guess is news because they were talking about being let go or their prison sentences being upped or lessened, something along those lines, which he had never heard of. And I have a feeling might have been kind of just a rumor. But in any case, that's I think that's what they were communicating about. They were trying to pass along information about, hey, this is what I heard from the outside because you don't get a lot of new people probably in there or when you do that's the only way you're getting information about what's going on in the wider universe oh man oh man we <laughs> we're basically getting the Shawshank Redemption inside of Star Wars wow <laughs> complete with guy stepping onto the platform to end it I, I knew that was going to happen by the way I, I was as soon as they introduced that I'm like how how do you not, after so long, not just step on that platform? If you really think you're not getting out of there, at some point you're just going to be that desperate. And yeah, they went there. Well, on that happy note, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the episode was still so good. The episode was still so good. I cannot wait to see what happens next. I really cannot, especially since now they need to save Mix. Because if they do not save her, we will riot. <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling Mars is going to get her wish. Mars is going to get her wish. And it's going to be time for some rebelling. And I can't wait. Oh, I cannot wait. All right. What did you think of this week's episode? Leave your comments below. Were you surprised Bix got caught this week? I was really kind of surprised that we, we got there that fast. Uh, were you as overwhelmed as Cassian was by that entire prison? Are you feeling the Imperial heel kind of like I am today? <laughs> Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe like I mentioned at the beginning. And before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.